turn it. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another IRL video. I know I haven't I haven't done these in a minute. Um, I'm kind of everywhere with my uploads. I'm kind of just uploading what I want right now. And honestly, it's pretty good. I've been okay. A little too loud outside. It's been pretty good, honestly. I've been enjoying just uploading what I want. And um, it's something I don't normally do, you know? For a while, I thought I, I needed to upload certain videos. But um, I'm glad I'm at a point right now where it's kind of just like me, you know? But enough talk about that. Today's toast talk is about anxiety. You know, uh, one of my subscribers gave me this idea to do so, or uh, do this type of content where I just sit down and talk to you guys whenever I drive somewhere. And I thought it was a really good idea. Shout out Gigi. It may not show in my videos a lot, but I experience a lot of things, you know, um, mentally, uh, physically, all this stuff. And one thing that I do struggle with sometimes is anxiety. Now, anxiety is a constant battle, right? Uh, it's, it's something that's, that's planted in us when we're kids and it just grows and grows the more we get older, you know? And if we don't understand it, sooner the worse it gets when we grow up. You know, a good, a good representation of this is a lot of our own parents. You know, a lot of our own parents, you can see, um, not to diss, like, not to diss any parents, you know? Every parent has their ups and downs. But, what's it called? Hold on, I gotta focus. So I, I can upload this video for y'all. I'm always focused, by the way. I just had an extra focus right there. All right, hey. But yeah, so, anxiety. Yeah, our, our parents, if you really study your parents, um, most parents, some parents are good, you know, but if you really do, a lot of our parents uh, are the result of when your mental isn't checked, you know, when your mental doesn't um, doesn't heal growing up and it just stays growing, right? So the harder, the older you get, the harder it is to overcome. Now, getting over anxiety is, like I said, a constant, constant battle. Like, for example, once I start feeling that feeling of anxiety, um, I start turning to gratitude. Gratitude is basically being grateful for, for, for what you have, you know? Uh, I forgot what it was called, but anxiety and gratitude stem from the same part of your brain. I've, I heard of that. Like, I'm not like 100% sure if that's true, but I've heard of that. And your brain chemically cannot feel anxiety and gratitude at the same time. You know, I just learned this. I'm still practicing it and I'll get to the practicing part in a bit. But yeah, whenever I feel that, I start thinking of stuff that I have, you know, like what I'm blessed with, you know, and even no matter how small it is, it really is your perspective on life. You can be upset all you want, or you can look at the stuff around you, change your perspective, and be grateful for some of the stuff that you have, you know? Anxiety is something that's always a part of us, even since when we were children. So getting over it, it's gonna be hard, always. Getting over a lot of things is always hard, but it's it's doable. You know, a lot of people let stuff just just eat them. You know, they they let they let that anxiety like just destroy their mood and stuff. And honestly, I'm from my personal experience, letting that stuff get to you is way worse than actually dealing with it and getting over it. You know, because you could either live with the pain of getting through it, getting over it, or you can live with the pain and the anxiety, in the regret. You know, you can stay in those two if you want, all, all you want, but you could also go through the pain of getting over it, you know, by just accepting how things are and honestly feeling your anxiety through. You can't stop anxiety coming through, but you can feel it and move on. Like, it's not always a fight, you know? Sometimes you just gotta survive it, just get over it, or do it anxious. You know, if you're anxious about doing something, do it while being anxious. And the more you do stuff while being anxious, the less anxious you'll be about things. You know, if that makes sense. Because what I what I believe is that everything is a, is, a, is a practice. Everything is a skill. You know, everything is a skill. You training your anxiety not to act up like that is a skill that you have to keep on practicing. 
when you first start doing it, obviously it's gonna be 20 times harder, obviously. But if you give up, you're not making any progress, dog, you're not. So you just, honestly, man, you gotta go through it. You gotta keep practicing it, keep practicing it. Like I said, every, every emotional feeling that you have is a skill. If you keep practicing staying anxious, you're just practicing staying anxious. If you practice trying to get over it, feeling it, surviving it, it's a practice that just keeps on building up. It's, a, it's like a progress bar, you know? So, that goes with a lot of things, honestly. I believe that, that everything is a skill and you have to practice it as much as you can because if you practice the negative side towards it, then you're just getting better at being negative. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, that's like a little touch on it. Anxiety, it's all in your mind. You know, you gotta remember that. It's your head. It's your own head. Now, I have a lot of things I wanna talk about, but I do wanna make these type of toast talk videos specifically about some things. You know, this episode was anxiety, but I also wanna touch up on like stress and but a lot of other emotional issues that people have because sometimes people are gonna give you bad advice. Some people are gonna tell you whatever, you know? So at the end of the day, man, what I truly came to learn was that you have only yourself. At the end of the day, when you go to sleep, you're, it's you and your thoughts, you know, it's only you. So I think practicing on a lot of these things by yourself it's really great for you, man. It's really good. And that doesn't like mean don't talk to people, don't tell people your problems and all that stuff. Because I mean, people can help you, man. People will and can help you. You know, but that's my TED talk. My Ed talk, Eddie talk, tea talk, toast talk. But yeah, man, if you guys want, if you want me to talk about some more stuff, if you guys want to dig inside the mind of toast let me know you know because i'll be down to do it um obviously you don't have to take my advice but i do urge y'all to try it you know just what's it called stay true to yourself believe in yourself and know that it's all a practice all right you'll keep get you'll get better at it i know you will you can always come to me if you need if you need help with anything instagram jtoastofficial I love y'all, and um, yeah, take care, everybody, all right? I'll see you soon.